the rainy season has of late ravaged many parts of the country. In eastern Uganda, people have been killed in the Elgon region, and just recently over 16 people were killed by landslides triggered by rains in western Uganda, specifically Kasese district, which is located in the Rinjori region. While addressing journalists on Tuesday on the cabinet resolutions, the Minister for ICT and National Guidance, Dr. Chris Bariomunsi revealed that government was embarking on plans to relocate the people staying in the disaster-prone areas that have been affected by the floods. And therefore, our message as government is that people who live in these mountainous areas, including Chigezo, where I come from, should develop that consciousness that some areas are highly risky and where you can, you should consider relocating to an area which is safer. And we are going to dispatch government technocrats to these areas to help the people, to educate them, because somebody might be living on a slope of a mountain. The heavy downpours have not only affected rural areas in Uganda, but also the urban centers, especially the capital city, Kampala. <laughs> Many videos that have been circulating on social media have shown massive destruction from the floods. Properties worth millions have been destroyed and several businesses have also been disrupted. Some reports have also indicated that some lives have also been lost. <laughs> several experts have put the blame on the people who have encroached on wetlands and the legal construction of buildings, something the KCC spokesperson Simon Cassiate confirms. But we also know that there is quite a lot of wanton behavior by we city residents who don't recognize that KCCA has put a stop to your construction, has not given you permission to construct, has not given you permission to do any excavation works. But some of them use the might of whatever it is that they have around them to fraudulently or even blatantly refuse to adhere or comply with our direction. According to Cassiate, another factor that has led to these floods is the poor disposal of plastics which clog the drainage system. KCCS says it's now working on ways it can mitigate these floods. We have runoff ways or drainage channels as you know them, which we ensure that every single day we maintain through desilting, through picking up of uh, the debris and rubbish that is thrown in there, not by KCCA, but that is thrown there by we city, re city residents. Currently, Kampala City accommodates over 3.6 million people, with the population growing at a rapid pace, and there is strong worry that more wetlands and protected areas will be encroached, on which may lead to more flooding. Safi Mokili Baluku and Conrad Asimwe for CTV, Pimedition.